Let's have a look at the structures that are helping to stabilize the ankle joint, the ligaments. There are 10 ligaments that we are going to look at today. Seven more external ligaments that stabilize the ankle joint proper and the subtalar joint. And three ligaments that are more internal and are specifically related to the subtalar joint. It may seem like a lot to remember, but there are two things that will help us organize these ligaments and therefore remember them better. One is that they are grouped nicely to either the medial, aka tibial side, the lateral, aka fibular side, or the talocalcaneal joint. The second thing is that they are all named for the bones they are attached to. We'll start on the medial or tibial side. This image, there are four different ligaments highlighted. Collectively, these ligaments make up the tibial collateral ligament, also called the medial collateral ligament or deltoid ligament. Let's look at them each in turn. The most anterior ligament is the one we can see now highlighted in green. This runs from the anterior surface of the tibia to the talus. Therefore, it is named the anterior tibiotalar ligament. Remember, the ligaments are named for the bones they are attached to. Now on the posterior aspect of the joint, still on the medial side, we can see another ligament running from the tibia to the talus. And yes, if you guess this one is therefore called the posterior tibiotalar ligament. This next ligament, now highlighted in green, runs from the tibia to the navicular bone. Since there is only one of them, there is no need to add anterior or posterior, so it is simply called the tibionavicular ligament. And finally, the last ligament making up the tibial collateral ligament is highlighted now. And this ligament is running from the tibia to the calcaneus and is therefore called the tibiocalcaneal ligament. The second group of ligaments is on the lateral or fibular side of the ankle. It consists of three ligaments, all of which are highlighted in this image. You can see here one, two, and three. Together, these ligaments make up the fibular collateral ligament. We can also call it the lateral collateral ligament of the ankle. And we're going to look at each specifically. The most anterior ligament on the lateral side is the one we can see now highlighted in green. This runs from the anterior surface of the fibula to the talus, and therefore it is named the anterior talofibular ligament. And this naming might seem a little bit backwards compared to the tibial collateral ligaments. When naming the tibial ligaments, the tibia portion of the name came first. For example, tibiotalar. When we're naming the lateral or fibular ligaments, the fibular portion comes then last, as we can see in anterior talofibular ligament. So just keep that in mind. Now looking at the posterior aspect of the joint, there is another ligament running again from the fibula to the talus. This one will therefore be called the posterior talofibular ligament. Finally, the last piece of the fibular collateral ligament is the one we can see highlighted now. This runs from the fibula to the calcaneus and is called the calcaneofibular ligament. The third and final group of ligaments is specific to the subtalar joint. So all run between the talus and the calcaneus. There are three of these ligaments that we'll identify. The first is seen on this medial view of the ankle. Here we can see the talus. And here is the calcaneus. Since we're on the medial aspect of the ankle joint and we know the two bones the ligament connects, we can identify this ligament as the medial talocalcaneal ligament. The other two ligaments in this group can be seen on this lateral view of the ankle joint. Again, here is the talus and here is the calcaneus. This highlighted ligament on the lateral side of the ankle is called the lateral talocalcaneal ligament. The third and final ligament of the subtalar joint is the ligament we can see now highlighted in green. And this ligament is called the interosseous talocalcaneal ligament. Together, these ligaments stabilize the subtalar or talocalcaneal joint. If you found this quick anatomy or physiology video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, complete articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. 
click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy and physiology.